Hey everybody, we're here at the band show talking to my friend, Denise Fleming. Say hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. <laughs> no, I think, I think I say hi. You say hi. Yeah, All right. Okay. You say hi. Hi. Hi, Denise. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> my name's Van. Van? Yeah, it's my show. Look behind you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you some questions. Is that all right? Yes, it is. Awesome. Your so, tongue is a heart. It is. Yeah. It's because I'm full of love. Aww. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> now, Denise, tell, we want to know a little bit about you. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio, Toledo, right by the Michigan line. Well, I love the Midwest. Um, I love the lushness. Um, like I love the, seasons. Like, I love seasons. Yeah. I love that we have seasons. That yeah. I like a lot. Naturally growing green I stuff. I love nature. nature. A lot of my books are about nature. Yeah, and cows. Yes. Yeah, I've read a few. That's true, cows. Yeah, yeah confused cows. Well, uh, there's a I... lot of farm around where I live, too. Ah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. that's where you get your inspiration. Right. right. Very cool. Now, do you have any pets? Well, right now, we've had lots of pets over the years because we take in rescues and sometimes we rehome them. But now I have two little dogs, Freddie and Jasper, and they're very naughty, very bad. Oh. And then two cats, um, and that's Genevieve and Essie. And then a new cat is coming to us, Otto. He's a rescue too. He's two years old. Oh, and are the cats well behaved? No. <laughs> so you got no. a bunch of naughty pets. Yes. We do. We have a lot of naughty cats. And we have a horse. But our horse lives in a boarding stable. Okay. So the horse, the horse doesn't have his own bedroom at the house? No. 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 It might make things kind of stinky. Yeah, but we would like that. <laughs> I love the smell of horse stuff. Horse. Horse stuff. stuff. Very yes. judicious yes. choice of words. Yes. Stuff. <laughs> Excellent. Now, you, you are an artist as well as a writer. Right. Right. I write the stories and make the pictures. That's so amazing. How, how young were you when you started writing and doing art? Well, I started doing art when I was really young. Um, I can't remember not doing art. Mm -hmm. And my dad did a lot of woodworking. And he had a workshop in the basement. And I, would, I had my own table down there in his studio. And I would make stuff out of the wood pieces, glue things together, make all sorts of stuff, and Whoa. do paper mache and stuff. And so I've been making art ever since I can remember. Wow. And, and eventually you got into paper making, is that right? Yep. Uh, I like process. I like the step by step by step, you know, kind of thing. Is, is, do you find it meditative? Yeah, I do. I do. It's very relaxing. And, and it's very beautiful. I mean, your books, your books, the, the paperwork in your books is just phenomenal. Well, thank you. So, at an early age, did you have anybody that really encouraged your writing? Uh, well, my mom wrote a little column for the local paper, and so she was always writing. It was kind of just like in the neighborhood kind of stuff. And so she was always writing. My dad was always making things, and they also, Real local, real active in local theater. My mom would direct plays and my Whoa. dad would build sets. So, you know, I was always around creative people. Very cool. And then, and then you married the two together. You took the art from the dad and the writing from mom and right. you started making right. art for books. Right. Exactly. Wow. I, I think you might have bugs. Uh oh. Yeesh. Yeah, right there. There we go. I got it. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. This is, it's like a primate show. Yeah, I know. Just, Except I'm not going to eat yeah, them. Yeah, I was going to say, don't eat those. <laughs> now, now, how many books have you written? Uh, I've written and illustrated about 24. Wow. And those all in include your paper art, is that right? Yes, those are all paper making. And now, this new book, you've decided to change your style, is that correct? This new book is, yeah, it's printmaking. Um, it's called monoprint, and I print on all these papers, and then I cut them apart and glue them into a picture. So then it's collage. So wow. it's, you know, printmaking and collage. Wow. So instead of making the paper, you, you, you have I've, paper already made, but then you print on it. Right. And you cut it. Right. Wow. Exactly. 
So what, what was it like to change your art style like that? Well, I was ready to change my art style because the papermaking I had to stand for hours in this position and it started to be a little painful. Mm. So, um, but when I changed over, it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. So now I'm kind of on a roll. Yeah, and so do you, do you find uh, that your art has been refreshed now that you've changed uh, yeah, styles? Yeah, you kind of need to reinvent yourself every now and then. Like, you might want, like, a little pink in here or something. You think? Yeah, I think so. You think that might look nice? A little stripe? Yeah, just a stripe. Just Ooh. a stripe. All right, I hope yeah. you're watching, Devo. Might need a new a new. And uh, maybe a piercing a right here. <laughs> a piercing? Yeah, because you can't do tattoos. Who says? Nobody would see them. Oh, yeah. Hmm, good point. Or you could shave a pattern. Oh, yeah. there we go. Now, you've also written the words for this book. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what this is called, or what this is about? It's about a robin building a nest. Outside my studio, there was a bird feeder, you know, the kind with a, a top on it, and a robin built her nest in it. And so I would watch her every day, working on her nest, and then I'd see, you know, when the eggs were laid and the babies and all that. And so I thought, you know, I'll write a story about that. And it's, it's in the form of this is the house that Jack built. Oh. You know, so it keeps building on. And all these friends help her. Yeah. Help <laughs> her. Now, I'm really excited about your new book. Well, thank you. As much as I've been excited about all your other books. Well, thank you. I mean, I, until I met you, or until I met your books, I didn't realize that cows could say anything but moo. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, you know, they dream about being a chicken and then they cluck. Well, which is you, Have you ever had a dream where you wake up and you don't know if it was a dream or something that really happened? Constantly. I know. Well, that's what happened to Cow, kind of, except it went a little further. Does that ha is, did that happen to you and that's what inspired All the book? All the time. <laughs> All the time. Like right now. Sometimes are you... I'll ask my husband, you know, did this happen? <laughs> are you asking know. yourself that right now? Yes, I am. I am. Yes. Awesome. Now, do you want to play a game with us? Sure. If Let's... I win. Now, the challenge is we want you to draw a portrait of me in 30 seconds with your non-dominant hand. Okay. I know. Yeah! So, Denise, would you mind autographing that for me? <laughs> sure. No. <laughs> awesome. Denise, this has been a ton of fun. I'm so happy you came on our show. Me too. Can I give you a hug? I'd love it. Okay. Mwah. Goodbye. Bye.